Hello, and welcome to week 8, day 55 of Man vs. Violin. This week I've been continuing with the Suzuki book and the Mel Bay book. Uh, from the Suzuki book, I've been working on Long Long Ago and May Song. So, uh, long, long ago. So that one I just started a couple of days ago. Um, I had the mute on for that. Let's try that one again without the mute though. And then also May Song, which is on the same page. It's page 31 of the Suzuki book. So with long, long ago, uh, that's starting to introduce the E note that's on the uh, D string. So that's kind of an introduction to uh, using the E note on the D string. And then also with Suzuki, I was uh, still working on Oh Come Little Children. For some reason, that's that one's, uh, it's not a difficult song to play, but uh, I personally have been finding that kind of challenging. So let's try Oh Come Little Children again. So that one's starting to come along um, a little bit better. That's actually kind of a fun one to play um, now that I'm starting to be able to play it uh, a little bit better than before. But as with any instrument, it just takes time. Um, long, long ago, as I mentioned earlier, uh, starts to, it's the first song in the Suzuki book that starts to incorporate the E note on the D string. Uh, but I've heard that this song is kind of, um, there's very, many variations to this song. So this is one that I, I want to make sure I uh, practice and, and learn correctly. From the Mel Bay book, which is the one that came with my violin, the little Cecilio 300, uh, I've been working on Ode to Joy. So let's see how much joy we can get out of this.
So in the Mel Bay book, Ode to Joy is the first song that starts to incorporate the E note on the D string. So um, that's on page 10. So kind of uh, as far as difficulty level, I would say the Suzuki book and the Mel Bay book are kind of comparable. They're starting to introduce things pretty much at the same time. So one thing I've been trying to do with Ode to Joy is um, instead of using the open E string, I've been trying to incorporate my pinky finger and use the E string or the E note on the A string. So same song, uh, same sound, but um, just using the pinky finger to finger the note on the A string instead of using the open E string. So let's try that. So that's good practice too. So uh, for me, uh, Ode to Joy is an exercise song that I'm trying to use for the E note on the D string as well as the E note on the A string with my pinky finger. So those are kind of the main songs that I've been working on this last week. Um, and I've been going back and reviewing some of the uh, some of the older songs, um, trying to keep them fresh. One thing that I've done this week is you'll notice I've taken the fine tuner off of my A string. So now I just have the fine tuner on the E string. Um, I may return the fine tuner to the A string. Uh, it depends how well I can accurately tune the A string. The D and the G strings, I've been able to tune pretty well with the tuning pegs. Um, so we'll see how I do with the A string. And the other thing of note on little Cecilio is I had changed to a more central chin rest, but I went ahead and put the original chin rest back on, the one that came with the violin. And the reason I did that is because now that I'm starting to get into the D string, my fingers are moving up the strings, uh, the angle was a little, putting a little strain on my wrist. So um, by moving the chin rest back, it moves the violin forward, which means that there isn't such a sharp angle on my wrist. Um, over the last few weeks, I've gotten, my wrist has gotten a lot more comfortable holding the violin. So I think once my wrist starts to acclimate to um, this new position, you know, getting to the uh, notes on the A string or the D string and the G string, once that starts to feel comfortable for me, then um, I'll probably go back to using the central chin rest. But for right now, just to kind of give my wrist a break, I moved back to the original chin rest that came with the violin. So that's it for week eight, uh, day 55 of Man vs. Violin. I have managed to um, practice the violin every day. I wish I could practice for longer uh, per practice session, but just things with my job, and I've had a lot of uh, problems with my house because of the storms that have come through my area the last few weeks. So I haven't had as much time as possible to practice, um, but I have been practicing every day. And I think the takeaway is that a little bit of practice every day uh, is better than no practice every day. So I kind of was hoping I'd be a little bit farther along after 50 days, but 
it is what it is. Um, we'll see where I'm at in another 50 days. So uh, until next week, thank you.